Hi, this is Bob Brown again. This is about the Standing Rock Sioux. This is a really quick video. If I was teaching a business course on how to prevent the conflict between the Standing Rock Sioux and the and business interests, if we looked at it as a case study, a couple of books I'd recommend. Uh, I did a video on Peter Singe's work, uh, Systems Thinking. Highly recommend Peter Singe, uh, S-E-N-G-E, -S Peter Singe. Uh, systems thinking and this book here is the necessary revolution Yanar Bar Yam's book I'd highly recommend this is making things work solving complex problems in a com complex world this is a book on complexity theory that's geared towards the social sciences and businesses this is an excellent book it has many cases of you know medical errors uh, why things go wrong complexity theory Highly recommend that you study complexity theory in the, in the in as as a add-on to the uh, study for this situation. Going to more cultural, um, the work of William Powers, Sacred Language, the natural the nature of supernatural discourse on in the uh, Lakota, an excellent book on understanding from an anthropological sort of point of view uh, the, the the Sioux people. A more popular book, but written by Native Americans themselves, is Native Wisdom. This is a very good book. It, it, it can reach a general audience or a student audience very quickly. This gives the, uh, the Native Americans, the American Indian people, uh, an opportunity to give their side of the equation, not just the scientific side. You can't do anything with uh, the Dakota, Lakota, or the Sioux people without encountering Black Elk or Black Elk Speaks. This is the copy I have. There, there are other copies that are preferred, uh, but this is the one I have. This is Black Elk. Uh, it's sometimes it's called The Sacred Pipe. Sometimes the, the book is called Black Elk Speaks. It was the translation by Joseph Brown. Some people think that Brown heavily edited Black Elk, uh, but, uh, but any, either way, Black Elk Speak is a critical book that anybody who's a student of American history should be aware of. The, the recount, the Black Elk, the famous... Sioux or Lakota, Dakota medicine man. This speaks to the heart of the cultural understanding of the people. From a more European mystical view, uh, I'd also recommend, maybe controversially, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. This is more of the perception of the European American uh, view towards Native Americans. This is, in many ways, the Longfellow's idea of the of the, the nobility of the Native Americans that we, a lot of us, have embedded in our psyche comes from this author and many of the writings of the New England uh, Transcendentalists. So that's a quick overview. If I was teaching a course, uh, I would definitely use uh, these two books, you know, Systems Thinking and Complexity Theory, to apply it to any business situation such as, with the complexity of this. And then I would write... <coughs> recommend getting Native American authors and a more scientific, uh, this is academic, this is, an, you definitely have to have the Native American authors, they have to tell their story, because without their story you don't really have a complete understanding. So this would be more or less a qualitative research project, not quantitative, you'd have to do qualitative. So Black Elk, you can't do research in this area uh, for the people of the Dakotas without understanding Black Elk. You need something from the Native American authors. So I hope that's helpful <coughs> for you. Thank you.